So what we've been doing with the last couple of examples, like example five, was actually the recursive formula. We actually made a recursive formula, well we had used a recursive formula to actually um, do the problem, to find the next term or find the next, the, the terms that are coming up or whatever. So with that, we used, found the explicit formula, we found out how to do that, and we made a formula for that and we put it in and uh, found the next five terms. That's Two, like about two examples ago, and um, we just learned how to do recursive. So now we're going to do an example where we put all that together. So for this one, we're going to find the explicit and a recursive formula for this sequence: negative two, one, four, and seven. So I'm going to cut my paper in half here, and I'm going to do one part. One side is going to be explicit. Make this explicit. This one's going to be recursive. Right, so with it again, we're going to start off with our formula for um, to help us with explicit. That's the recursive formula. The general formula for it. our general formula and again with this we have to figure out what is our L um, our, um, a1 and our common difference because at the end and an a and remember, remember stays in the problem we don't really do anything with those so with this that's what we got to make sure we do so let me go ahead and do this also so we make sure it looks really cool right. so here we know a1 is um, is two negative two, and our common difference. Hope everybody can realize that or see it without me having to actually go in depth with why it is that answer. Everybody should hopefully see it. it's three. Again, from negative one to one, we add three. From one to four, we add three. From four to seven, we add three. So our common difference is. So common difference is three. So for this problem here, all we are gonna do is keep a in for explicit. Negative two is for a one. Keep our n minus one. The common difference is three. Again, distribute that. We get negative two plus 3n minus 3. Then we combine like terms. Let's do 3n minus 5. Okay, so remember that. That's what we focused on that already. We talked about that for a little for um, a couple examples. Alright, now. The other one, and I don't want you to get really bogged down and confused with this. Um, when it comes to our recursive formula, we're going to write it the same way each time. So we're going to end up using our a1 here. And here we said it was negative 2. And when it comes to writing our formula for recursive, well, sorry, also let's do that common difference again. It's 3. So we're pulling that back out again, so we're using that for both of them. But when it comes to writing our formula, this one's actually is so much simpler. You just have to remember how to write it, though. All we have to do is I was going to start off with n plus 1 here. That's going to equal uh, what was it? a n plus 3. And with that again, we say a1 equals negative 2. So that's all we do for regress, regress, um, re, recursive, not regressive, recursive. So the only thing we added was we took the d and we put it here. And we took our a1 and put it back here. 
找我 video。Now, with this, you can do it this way. You can have it like this, or if you want to do it like the problem we just dealt with, the example of five, if you want to do it like this. Uh, it works the same way. That works. That still works. So I'll take either one of those. Because they mean the exact same thing. Because they mean the exact same thing. So I'll take either one. That one or that one. So again, explicit, we use the recursive formula that we originally learned. We go ahead and do all the work and we get down to a n equals something n and a number. Then recursive, all we do is take a1 and the common difference we put it in there. And it doesn't matter which one you use again. It could be either one. I'll take either one. So it's going to be okay. That should be fine. If it confused you, it's okay. It's one of those things that is not perfect that you get it right now, but you're going to need to make sure you understand how to do it because they love doing the recursive formula and throwing it at you on the final exam. They love doing stuff like that. So with that, just make sure you can see that and understand it. I'm going to give you a practice also to work on this to make sure you understand how to do it, and then you'll be fine.